Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. It started when my dad came out to Long Island in 1946, bought a very, very small little retail local butcher shop called Farmingdale Meat Market, which was located about five doors down from where we presently are located. And in 1956, we moved into this location, so it's been in our family now. It'll be 65 years in March, just my dad, myself, and now Lee. I've been in the company the past four years now and um, learning every day. It's, it's become very uh, glamorous to be a butcher like it has been for a chef. There are all kinds of meat cutting classes going on all around uh, New York. We're going to be starting one here soon in the winter and there are a lot of places in Brooklyn and Manhattan that are doing meat cutting classes so we've become celebrities. The Prime Porterhouse is probably the most expensive cut per pound, the best quality, the best tasting steak that you might get at a place since we're on Long Island, Prime in Huntington or Teller's in East Islip. We also sell Choice Porterhouse, which are considerably less, and for someone cooking it at home who doesn't need that restaurant experience, they're a wonderful buy, and then you move down, you have boning large sirloin steaks that are on sale actually for the last couple of weeks and that's probably the prime large bone-in sirloin that we cut from hips of beef are the best buy for the consumer right now. Uh, we always are using fresh product. We never ever use any frozen product in our hamburgers. We also grind fresh every single day. So if you come into the store, the burgers that you're going to eat that night were made that day and we start our hamburger maker starts uh, every morning around 3 a.m. Our first truck into Manhattan usually leaves at like 6.30 and even all the restaurants that we sell, any hamburgers that they're purchasing from us or serving in their restaurant were made for them that day. We never grind ahead of time, we never make burgers ahead of time, so that way when you purchase from us you know you're always getting the freshest product possible. And with last year Lee and I introduced what we call our 1946 blend, which goes back to when we started the business. The 1946 blend is made up of Kobe brisket, boneless short ribs, prime aged rib cap, and Angus chuck, which rounds it out. And it's um, four different parts with uh, you know different ratios. Can't disclose the ratios, but there's just uh, it has a little bit of age to it from the rib cap meat and. Um, Kobe brisket makes it nice and flavorful. This item won an award late in 2009 as the outstanding new product in the meat industry. The marbling really is the intramuscular fat in the meat. Also, just when you look at the meat, it's basically the white lines or the lines of fat that you see in the meat. And really the simplest way to judge a piece of meat is to look for that marbling. The health people might want something that's extremely lean but if it's all red and all meat, it's really not going to be juicy and flavorful. And that's a lower grade of meat, whereas a prime grade of meat will have a lot of white specks or white lines, other the marbling in the meat. I do all the grilling for our family. When they come over to my house, we do it. What It's very important to put a dry rub on the steaks. And then I uh, sea salt, little sea salt, and I grind and a little fresh pepper that I grind on it. Porterhouse just grilled nice and rare, and we love rare burgers in our house. Shame on us, but we, but we do love them rare. In meat, there's a grain to the meat, which is the way that the muscle fibers run, and it's extremely important, everyone listening out there, to cut across the grain of the meat. So you want to locate the grain in your meat and cut perpendicular to it. The eating experience is going to be completely different. So, 
you know, corned beef is a really big item for St. Patrick's Day. You can cook it perfectly, but if you carve it wrong, you're ruining the brisket. So it's really important. That's a, a good example because brisket has a very uh, visible grain. It's really easy to see. How you cut it is just as important as how you cook it. Don't overcook the meat. That's it. That can take a good piece of meat and make it an average piece of meat. So I know some people don't like rare meat, but try not to go past medium rare because that's when the quality and the flavor really comes out. We have a great relationship with the packer in Omaha, Nebraska. We get about 80% of our beef from them. We feel that that is the best growing area for cattle in this country. They only have one plant. They're very particular on what they harvest and we're very particular on what we buy from them. The All Natural Meat, we carry a line of meat from Montana uh, called Myers All Natural Angus Beef. It's a uh, hormone-free, antibiotic-free, certified humane beef. We won't sacrifice on the quality, no matter what. That's, that's what's made us successful. Very few places in this business are around for 65 years, and my dad stressed it to me. Just bring in quality, and hopefully I've done it, and I'm sure Lee will continue doing it.